Welcome to the We On podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover how 3 i Atlas did the unthinkable near the sun and with a mysterious burst of acceleration that has scientists wondering if it's powered by something far more than nature itself. Interstellar comet 3 i Atlas made a non-gravitational maneuver as it went behind the sun, according to a NASA engineer. Harvard scientists Avi Loeb stated in his blog that Davide Farnoccia, a navigation engineer at NASA's Jet Propulsion Laboratory in Pasadena, filed the first evidence of the object making mysterious moves. The data states that 3i Atlas made a radial acceleration away from the sun by 135 kilometers per day squared. There was also a transverse acceleration relative to the sun's direction of 60 kilometers per day squared. Loeb wrote. This is a jolting revelation since comets do not suddenly move away in this fashion. This non-gravitational acceleration was measured at the perihelion distance of 1.36 times the Earth-Sun separation. The non-gravitational acceleration was not the only thing that was observed as 3i Atlas hid in the Sun's glare. The comet also changed color it turned a bright blue instead of the usual red. Loeb claims that the non-gravitational acceleration and the change in its color are related. The non-gravitational acceleration might be the technological signature of an internal engine, he wrote. This might also explain the report on 3i Atlas getting bluer than the sun. This might also explain the report on 3i Atlas getting bluer than the sun. Ideally, the dust around a comet should turn the scattered sunlight red. Loeb has called this the ninth anomaly that the interstellar object has displayed. Some observations made by spacecraft have revealed that it became extremely bright as it swung behind the sun. On October 28th, two researchers posted a study to the preprint server Archive saying that 3i Atlas rapidly brightened ahead of perihelion. According to them, the comet will have brightened to roughly magnitude 9 at perihelion. Amateur astronomer and comet hunter Warachate Boonplod spotted the comet in images from the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration's GOES-19 weather satellite. He noted in the comet's mailing list group that the brightness of 3i Atlas was comparable to nearby stars with a magnitude 11. The comet is moving from left to right relative to both the field and background stars, and should leave the CCOR1 field on October 24th. Loeb further says that the picture on 3i Atlas would become clearer once it becomes visible again. Over the month, it takes 3i Atlas to cross a spatial scale of order, its perihelion separation from the Sun, 3i Atlas would lose about a tenth of its mass, he wrote. Such a massive mass loss should be detectable in the form of a large plume of gas surrounding 3i Atlas during the upcoming months of November and December 2025. Scientists will be waiting for it once it re-emerges, especially when it reaches its nearest point to Earth on December 19th. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.